what's up everyone you got aspirant aircraft maintenance engineer prakash here and today i welcome you on a very interesting video that is how corona became a boon for air india first of all i'll say you something about air india limited air india limited is a parent company of air india air india express alliance air air india engineering service limited air india air transport service limited and hotel corporation of india so Air India was having a debt of fifty two thousand crore rupees, fifty two thousand crore rupees, in the financial year of two thousand eighteen nineteen, and thus, NDA government, after the monsoon session of Lok Sabha, decided that they should privatize Air India Limited, and as well they have made a panel led by Arun Jaitley, a former finance minister, who will be leading the panel and who will decide. the structure of this investment or privatization of air india limited so you must know that at that time air india express the subsidiary of air india was a profit of rupees 295 crore in that financial year 2018-19 so indigo was ready to bid air india limited but only on that subsidiary that is air india express because that time Air India Express was on profit, but government of India refused to sell only Air India Express to Indigo, and thus Indigo was out of that bidding. So now, what is coming under picture is Arun Jaitley and his panel decided to sell or privatize 76 percent share of Air India to any private entity or private player, and keeping 24 percent of share in government's hand. After so many rallies. Finally, in 2019, they decided that they should sell 100% share of Air India to any private entity. Air India Limited is the name given to a company, National Aviation Company of India Limited, on 26th October 2010. But still, government has not yet managed to get any expression of interest in Air India Limited. Now, guys, I will tell you a fact about Air India. Air India is the only airline in the world to register its name in the Guinness Book of World Record because of the Gulf War evacuation. Now, as you all know that our Prime Minister Narendra Modi has declared a complete lockdown in the country from 24th of March 2020. So, after that lockdown, no airline was operating any international or domestic flights. This lockdown, government of India have launched two missions, namely Lifeline Uran and Vande Bharat mission. Lifeline Uran is an initiative taken by Union of Ministry of Civil Aviation, led by Srimati Usha Pandey, Joint Secretary of Ministry of Civil Aviation. Till this date, by Lifeline Uran, hundreds of ton of cargo are transported across lakhs of kilometers by. hundreds of flights all over the india and also to some neighboring destinations and this is the mission which is totally self financed by government of india and not only air india and alliance air this mission is also undertaken by indian air force and other private carriers and pawan hans proceeding towards the second mission that is vande bharat actually before vande bharat also air india operated repatri repatriation flight from uhan and other countries other cities other destinations like from uhan on 31st of january 2020 and 1st of feb 2020 air india has operated two repatriation flight and under which 637 indians and seven maldivians were evacuated and for which ministry of external affairs had put on a bill of 5.98 crore to the parliament for this repatriation flight and other several flights were also carried out pre covid situation to evacuate the stranded indian citizens from other countries so coming to vande bharat mission vande bharat mission was divided into two segments namely phase 1 and phase 2 Phase one was scheduled from 6th of May 2020 to 17th of May 2020, and phase two was scheduled from 17th of May 2020 to 3rd of June 2020. Government of India said that if phase one is carried out smoothly, then they will proceed to phase two and further also if necessary. Phase one was 
going smoothly and under this they have evacuated thousands of distressed people from countries like USA, UAE smoothly. So as they promised that if phase 1 goes smoothly they will conduct phase 2 also. So under phase 2 they have also repatriated thousands of distressed people all over the world to India. Now Air India is doing the phase 3 Vande Bharat mission also under which so many other distressed people who were stranded in other countries will be brought back to India soon. Initially in phase 3 107 flights were planned but now it is increased to 178 flights. In phase 3 other private players were also included like Indigo, Goair and Vistara. So now coming to the main topic. Before COVID-19, when they were doing repatriation or evacuation flights from Wuhan, Italy, Israel and all, passengers were not charged at all. But now, under Vande Bharat mission, they are charged and they are charged as per the chartered flight costs. So, several questions were asked to Hardeep Singh Puri, our in-charge Ministry of Civil Aviation, that why you are charging so much to the stranded persons too. He answered Air India was charging a least amount that is the normal price for any chartered flight that is Delta and American Airlines were conducting from Houston to Delhi or Toronto to Delhi something like that they will be they were charging more amount like I'll take an example from Toronto to Delhi normal chartered prices cost uh, like by Delta Airlines and US Air Airlines they were charging 1.6 lakh rupees but, but Air India was charging only 1.07 lakh rupees to bring back the stranded Indians. Till this date thousands of passengers are evacuated from different countries to India and they were charged that amount accordingly that is the normal chartered price. So after making this huge profit and also when other private players were not operating any flights that is no international and domestic flights and now obviously they are operating but still no international flights and Air India operated that time and charged the money and now I think personally that huge profit they have obviously made right. So now after making this huge profit why should they sell Air India, Air India Limited. Air India Limited was making loss, I know, but now Air India Limited has made profit. We can see now when Hardeep Singh Puri was asked about that by a journalist on 7th of May 2020, he answered that the express of interest is delayed by two months. Is delayed by two months. They will and they are in a plan to sell Air India Limited. Here is the national flag carrier of our nation India and we are proud of it obviously. Also this mission was impossible if Air India was not under government. So guys that's it for the video and if you like the video just give it a thumbs up and uh, what do you think that is Corona a boon for Air India just put it in the comment section and uh, I'll bring such videos more such fact videos more if you like to hear from me just subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon so that you'll be notified earlier always remember a good engineer is always learning in all aspects